Tonight of concerned parents picking their teens up from Sprayberry High School where a student was stabbed. Cobb County school officials say that student is going to be OK, but the accused stabber, who's also a student, is now in police custody. Atlanta News First, Madeline Montgomery is live tonight outside Sprayberry High School. And Madeline, Cobb County had a number of incidents like this this year. They really have parents told us that they appreciate how the principal, how the school resource officers handle the situation here on campus today, but they feel like security upgrades need to be made district wide. She called the code red lockdown and that's when uh, I just ran out of the school. Panic at Sprayberry High School. I have a freak out. I ran to here and the school email me sent red code and everything. Video sent by a worried mother to our sister station, Telemundo Atlanta, a line of parents assuming the worst. But I told one of my kids back to the call because all the parents were scared. Cobb County school officials tell us a student was stabbed by another. There's three kids fighting in the bathroom and apparently one of them had a knife or some kind of object and uh, stabbed the other student and then ran out, ran out of the school apparently across the Chick-fil-A right there and took off somewhere. Cobb County police telling us they now have that student in custody. We have video of someone in handcuffs being looked over by an ambulance. There's always going to be kids like this that situation get out of hand. They don't know what to do. They lose their mind. While Sprayberry isn't known for out of hand situations, Cobb County schools have been making the news a lot lately. There was a shooting in McEachern High School's parking lot a month ago, and school police found guns in a student's backpack at Pebble Brook High School at the end of last year. I don't know what they're going to do about it, you know, because that's crazy. How kids have a knife in school, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. I don't know if they're going to have a detect or something. We reached out to the school district as well as to the school board representative who represents Sprayberry High School about what they are going to do to make parents and students feel safe following this situation. None of them responded. Reporting live at Sprayberry High School, I'm Madeline Montgomery, Atlanta News First. It is going to be another morning for the Jackets tomorrow, but also a warm